Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing good. Hey Susan. How is everybody? Hi Brenda, howdy. I thought maybe today we would, I just, I've had such a rough couple days and today I am like, can't even tell you what it is. It's been ridiculous, but I thought maybe we would do some shaving cream marbling. So I'm just trying to get some. I know Brenda, I was calamarying. I'm sorry I couldn't be there last night. I have a house guest coming tomorrow and I have been, all I have been doing, in fact, I wasn't even going to do today except that... I need a little downtime from my own self, if you know what I mean. I have somebody coming tomorrow um, to stay with me, and so I have been sort of in ridiculous um, reorganization overload. That is what I've been doing. So I'm sorry I missed your live stream. I'll go back and watch it. I'm sure it was good. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Edna. Edna, how are you? I know I was sending you lots of prayers. Is everything okay so far in uh, Florida? I have been in calamari overload, you guys. It has really been crazy. I'm sorry I didn't send out the notification what we were going to do because, quite honestly, I wasn't feeling so great, so I wasn't sure what we were going to do or if I was going to do anything, but I decided. We're going to do shaving cream marbling. So if you guys want to make along, you just need really super cheap um, shaving cream. You need either acrylic paint or um, alcohol inks. You need something to do it in and I'm gonna do it in the lid of this um, tub. And it's it's really super easy. Oh Scotty how was your how was taking care of your grandson? Can you guys hear me okay? I actually have the fan on. It is really hot today, like no wind or anything. And if it's too loud, let me know and I'll turn off the fan. So if you guys want to make along, you need some book pages or something to marble on. I was going to paint this one white first and then, um, it's going to paint it white first and then let it dry and then marble over it. So Susan, will you go into our group and post it, post that we're live? I didn't even do that. You guys, anyway, so if you guys want to make along, what you need is I'm going to put a, a base coat of white paint on this brown bag and just to see if it'll work. So this is just a brown paper bag, and I'm going to put some white paint on it. Um, we're going to do paper, paper mark. We're going to marble paper. So if you guys have shaving cream, cheap shaving cream, uh, acrylic paint or alcohol inks or both and you need some sort of a pan to put it in and I'm just using the lid of a tub. I'm on the big screen. Oh my god Susan you're ridiculous. Hi Carrie. Your grandson wasn't happy when you left? Of course not. When I was a kid I loved my grandmother too. She was like one of my my grandparents were my favorite people, you guys. They were like everything. So if you guys want to make along, you don't have to do brown bags, but since I had a whole bunch cut up, I just thought I might as well go ahead and do a little brown bag action. And I don't know how the brown bag is going to come out, you guys. I have never marbleized, done shaving cream marbleizing on a brown bag. So that's why I'm putting some white paint on it because I think it's super porous. But get some book pages um, and just some copy paper. I'll have to grab some copy paper too. I just wanted to get some some white paint, some a base coat of white paint to the end. Hey Carrie! Hi Liz! Hi Bet! Oh you guys, I am I'm worn out. I have like done way too much. Like I have I've done way too much. Just way too much. It has been, it has been like between the yard work that we did, whatever the past few weeks or however that is gone, and then now, 
Oh my God, you guys. But you know, the good thing is I'll be able to give you guys a studio tour soon because I have been, I have my butt in gear and have been like, I have really been, um, reorganizing and going through boxes and trying to re put my stuff out. And so I'll be able to give you a studio tour soon. <laughs> Scotty says she was her grandson's slave for eight hours. <laughs> you didn't know you could sing the farmer in the dell that many times oh how precious how precious so brenda i'm sorry i missed you last night i am sorry girl i had hottie home and i had his undivided attention and he and i were you have no idea it was like i think we were up until like two in the morning from like early yesterday morning because he had the day off, which is not normal for him, but he had the day off and we were up and we were, we were like going for it. We were like, we were going for it. Going for it. We were going, going, going for it. We were 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 going for it, and so we were definitely going for it. It was like, you know how you have those projects that you've been putting off for like ever? Well, I have plenty of those, and of course what I had on my agenda and what he had on his agenda were two different things. Okay, so this is just a base coat, and I have to let it dry. Okay, so I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to let it dry, and... So get your book pages out. Need some book pages, any kind of book pages or, well, not magazine pages because you want to, we're going to do the, you want to be able to see it or white paper. Hi, Malia. Hey, Scotty, at least it was that. When my kids were little, it was the wheels on the bus. And can I tell you? I have to tell you, that song kind of wears you out. You guys know I have my favorite Tom Clancy novel here. Hi, Trish. Hey, Kim. Um, and it's not because I'm reading Tom Clancy. It's because if you get a Tom Clancy novel, first of all, you get a lot of pages in it. And if you like to book, if you like to make things out of book pages, it works really well. Um. With the paper quality, if it's a book may, if it's a book written by him, not one of his uh, ghostwriters, um, just shaving cream, either acrylic paint. We'll do some with acrylic paint, and we'll do some with alcohol ink, and you can see the difference. Acrylic paint and alcohol, alcohol ink. I didn't even say what we were making. Um... You know, I didn't even get to watch Carla today. You guys, I'm telling you, it's like nothing like having some company that'll kick your butt in gear to like get yourself together, right? Um, all you need is shaving cream, cheap shaving cream, and you need um, some spray, uh, alcohol, <coughs> either alcohol inks <coughs> or acrylic paint. You could probably do it with, um, you can probably do it with, you know, watercolors that are like in the tube watercolors but I don't have any right here you freaked her out with a storm oh no what happened Susan oh because she's in Florida Edna are you okay hi Lynn all right I think I have enough to start with this is okay can I just give you a warning before you do this this is super 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 addictive okay I can't even tell you how addictive it is because it's like beyond normal addictive, all right? This is kind of a big tub lid. You could do it in a smaller one. I could do it on this side. Maybe I will. The only reason why I was going to do it on this side was so I could push it. It's deeper. Maybe I'll do it on this side. If you guys like how I'm like, I don't have anything that you normally would. You probably would like to, you need a, something to scrape it across with, like a credit card. And you need, 
can use the end of this paintbrush. You need like a comb or something if you want to do, if you want to do, or a stick. I don't have a stick. Uh, hi, Fee. How are you? Hi, Leah. So if you guys want to do this, go grab some cheap shaving cream. Grab some acrylic paint. You need like a credit card or something to swipe it across because you need to smooth it out. Let me grab a chopstick. You need like a chopstick or a comb or a fork. Okay, like something like that. Big teeth are good. Be right back two seconds, you guys. Chat amongst yourself. Be back in two seconds. If you had a toothpick, you could use that, but I don't have any. Okay, it's, it's like a mess here, but it's getting better. Okay, first thing, let's do, let's do an acrylic paint one first. Hi, Nancy. Okay. You want to start kind of in the center and make your pile of shaving cream, all right? Then you want to spread it out. Now realize you need, the shaving cream needs to be as wide as the surface of the paper you want to cover if you want the whole paper covered. Probably should have looked for a tub lid that wasn't white. Sorry, you guys. Okay. It's kind of messy. This is a messy. It's, this is not, if you don't want to be messy, don't do this. This is actually fun to do with your kids, too. Or your grandkids, if you have grandkids, and they're old enough. You don't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get it smoothed out. Um, just trying to get it smoothed out enough. This is definitely you get it on your hands kind of thing. So if you're not, if you don't like getting it on your hands, this is not for you. I, I don't know how many times I've done this over the years. I used to do it with my kids when they were little. You inevitably get a mess. But it's fun. It's fun. Okay, I think it's almost the size of my paper. Let me see. Close enough. I mean, depends upon how much you want to how much you want to have on there. Okay. Okay, now let's decide our colors. I'm going to do some bright colors. I'm going to do paint first. Hi, Frida. I think, yes, food coloring works too, Edna. I just don't have any. Food coloring will totally work. Okay. I'm just going to do some bright contrasting colors so you guys can actually see it. You know, so you can see what it's going to look like. And I'm just using that really super cheap acrylic paint. You guys use what you have. Don't, don't, um, don't go buy anything special for it. Um, <laughs> I'm not exactly, he doesn't use this kind of shaving cream. Oh, you guys, I have to tell you guys about his shaving thing. You would have, like, you would just laugh. It's just so ridiculous. One of my daughters made him shaving cream a couple years ago. And he's obsessed with it. 
Okay, this is a good way to use up these like pads that you get, like whatever. Okay. Now you want to use your fork or something to drag through it. Now, if you want it to really look like a marbleized effect, it's better if you have a toothpick, you guys. I don't have any toothpicks. I don't know what I used last time. Maybe I have a piece of wire. Oh, you guys. Everything is getting so much cleaner, but it's sort of been like a haphazard. My cleaning has not been the technique of the normal cleaning. I have, I have thrown out a lot of stuff, you guys. A lot. I really went through, and I let go of so much stuff, you guys. I can't even tell you. Okay, I cut a piece of wire, too. It's like my toothpick. Okay, so you just want to start dragging your paint through, lightly through the shaving cream, just on the top. You don't want to, you don't want to, like, make a big ordeal. Okay, just drag your paint through. Okay, and then... Take your toothpick or your wire and then start dragging it more like this so that it starts to look like real marbled paper. You can always add more paint. Can you kind of see what it's going to look like? Hey, Vicki! Okay, the hardest part of this thing is waiting. Okay, and I'll show you what I mean. So, only where the paint is, is there going to be any... It's okay, I'll just use it like this. Okay, so I'm going to use... Maybe I'll use one of these AARP pieces first. Okay, you want to lay your paper straight down on it. Okay, you want to press it down. Not too much, but lightly press it down. Okay, then you want to decide one end and you want to pick it up from that end. Okay, now you have to let it you have to let it sit for a few minutes. Do you see? Like here's what it you don't want to do anything to it. You just want to let it sit. Okay, and so you have to let it sit. So you definitely need a place for your stuff to dry. Okay. I'm gonna do a book page. Are you guys chatting with me and I'm not hearing it? You made library pockets today, Cassandra? Awesome. That's kind of addictive too, right? Now you got to let it dry. you got to let it sit for a few minutes, okay? Some need to sit longer than others, so don't, don't mess with it. Don't be tempted, okay? Do not be tempted to mess with it. What are you guys saying? I'm missing it all. Hi, Mildred. I know I made a bunch of, I love those library pockets, you guys. What's cool is if you get a corner rounder, you can round the corners of them. You can, you can do, make them out of just about everything. Okay, now you can see as you're getting down toward the end that you may not have as much paint on your paper, and that's okay. You need to let them, you need to let them sit. You need to have a place to let them sit. Okay, I may try one more, and it may not, this may not pick up anything, but that's okay. It's so fun, though. This is like, 
is like therapeutically fun. You guys, it is crazy screaming hot here today. It is like unbelievably hot. I know somebody told me that it was already, they were feeling fall weather where they live. I was like, not here. We don't really feel fall weather, but okay, you have to let it, you have to let it sit. Okay, now what you're going to do now is, you see you have this, you're just going to pile all this back in the center. And you're going to re-spread it out again and do it again for your next things. Now some people throw their shaving cream away. You know me, I don't. Okay, I'm not a perfectionist. This is also not like a professional marbling thing. I mean, if I was going to do it professionally, I wouldn't use shaving cream. I'd use... You know, do it in a water bath with uh, all the chemicals and stuff that you need to do that. Um, but shaving cream is like, you just need a place. The shaving cream acts like a suspender. You know, just like when you add the, I think it's methyl cellulose that you add to the water if you're going to do this in um, regular book binding or like in book arts, you know, they you add methyl cellulose to your water so that makes so that it makes the pigment sit on top. The shaving cream acts like the methyl cellulose does in water when you're doing regular um, when you're doing um, regular paper marbling. No, and this has been around for a long time, you guys, paper marbling. I mean, you can go back and look at beautiful books from the Renaissance, and they have beautiful marbled handmade papers in them. What are you guys writing? I'm missing you guys. Why didn't yours work good, Lucinda? I missed what you said. I missed you. I, I'm sorry. The chat went by. Hi, Amberly. The chat went by before I could see what you wrote. So what you want to do is, yeah, the paint needs to sit on top. You don't mix it down into the bottom or your, or your, um, what do you want to call it? Oh my gosh, you guys, my head can't think. Alcohol inks. Whatever it is that you want to, to do, to add. You have to wait. You can't scrape your papers right away. In regular bookbinding, you... You don't, I mean, you put it in water and methyl cellulose, right? And then you pull it out and you hang it up. But in this, it's not like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to drag my paint through. That one's a little too deep, you guys. That one, that one may not come out, but we'll see. I'm going to drag my fork through. Drag it. You know, you can't really mess this stuff up, you guys. It's just artistic paper. So don't get all like carried away and married to it and think that, oh, mine's not perfect or whatever. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Yeah, you can do this in a glass baking dish. You can do this on a cookie sheet. You can do this on a... You just want something that has like a little bit of a ridge to it so that you could probably do it on a flat plate too. The shaving cream doesn't run. Um, we're making um, marbled paper, Amberly. We're marbling paper using shaving cream, acrylic paint, or alcohol ink, or you can use food coloring. is going to be kind of heavily heavily patterned there. You can already see it. I don't know. Can you see it? Let me see if I can hold it up so you guys can see it. My mess. Can you guys see the pattern? What the pattern will be on the paper? What about 20 mule team borax? What am I supposed to do with borax? Oh, instead of methyl cellulose? You guys, I have all that stuff here somewhere. 
way back in my, I haven't used it with borax, but I, I have all that stuff because in my, one of my moments in my life, I was very into book binding and that sort of thing. And somebody, I got this huge bag of, can you see it, photo paper, and I got it for a dollar at a, at a, yard, at a church sale. So I thought I'd use some of this photo paper and see how this comes out. You know, the printer photo paper. And it may or may not, so we'll see. So I have all that stuff, but it's all in my, oh my garage. So I haven't done it with Borax, Brenda, only methyl cellulose. Isn't that going to be cool? But I've got to let it dry. I have got to let it dry. Got to let it dry. So I was at, I told you guys I got that bag of stuff at the church sale. I thought it was one of them. It was like a huge bag of photo paper and I thought, oh, it'll be great for me to make paper clip embellishments for my junk journals. You do have to have a place, though, to set your stuff down. And of course, I didn't set up a table next to me because I wasn't that smart today. <clears throat> I am excited that I have my space cleaned up, you guys. It has been a long time coming. Hi, Nancy! It has been a long time coming, and um, they finished the electric in my kitchen, but they did not finish the electric in our house, so I'm sure that it's going to get torn up at some point again, but that's okay. So tell me what's going on with you guys. I want to know. You guys know about my shizzle. I want to know about your shizzle. I want to know about your shizzle. Tell me about your shizzle. What's going on? Hey, Don. Hey, Nancy. Okay. How many of you guys have done this with shaving cream before? It's super fun. Super fun, super fun. Oh, you guys, I have been, like, can I tell you, I, after all of the stuff that I went through and cleaned out and, and did, I mean, I still have a couple of more closets to do, but I did some deep cleaning in this house. We, you know, our kids have moved away, but then they come back and, you know, back and forth and they leave, like, stuff. So I found all these boxes of clothes. I, I haven't seen anybody wear them. So I was like, well, whose are these? And I called one of my daughters and she was like, oh, those were mine. You know, I had brought them back from school and I decided I didn't want them. I'm like, well, then why leave them in my closet? I mean, big, huge boxes of clothing and stuff. I was like thinking. So I went through, I'm telling you, we thrift stored. I dropped off boxes and boxes of clothing. Then I did, I don't know how many loads of laundry of the little one's clothing that no longer fits her and took those to a family that have like a bunch of kids, like that have lots of little girls. And I know, you know what it's like when you, when you spend a whole lot of money on clothes for your kids and then they outgrow it in like five minutes. I'm just trying to cover another part of the paper and it doesn't mean that it's going to even leave any, any stuff on the paper. Okay, this is probably, that's probably as good as it's going to get, so I'm going to smash my shaving cream back up, and so anyway, I did all these loads of laundry, <clears throat> because I had put clothes in bags to take to these friends of ours over the summer, and I didn't do it, so they sat in these bags in the closet, so I wanted to make them smell good, so I rewashed them all, and I probably did 
40 loads of laundry over the weekend. I washed all of the blankets and sheets and stuff that were sitting in the back of our, closet, our linen closet. I washed and um, just did, I did all the stuff that you kind of like do once a year or sometimes never. I know I've got a lot of shizzle going on. If I told you guys, I'm telling you, today is like a, uh, I woke up with like a sinus headache. The atmosphere's changed here. I woke up with like a crazy sinus headache and I've done everything I can to make it go away. It's still there, but it's not as bad as it was. I've, done, I've been doing my shizzle. Okay. Now, if you guys want clean paint or clean, like if you don't want it to maybe have the hangover of a, of a different lingering color, you scrape your shaving cream and start over. But for me, I don't mind it so much. I'm going to use some alcohol, a little bit of alcohol ink on this one. What did I miss? What did you say? I missed what you said, Susan. Were you making fun of me? Ooh, look at this. This alcohol ink is making my, maybe I haven't, I thought I've used alcohol ink before with this. Look, it's making my shaving cream bubble. I know I've used alcohol ink. I don't know. This one may not even come out. Cause it made the shaving cream bubble, and I've never seen that before. Could be this brand. Maybe I never used this brand of shaving cream. Who you knows? I don't know. It made, it made the shaving cream bubble. Well, I guess we'll see. I won't put any more alcohol ink on it because I'll just use acrylic paint. Hi, Carla. How are you weathering the storm? Is it, is it getting near you in Lakeland? I know it's near, um, it's near Edna. Is it anywhere near you? It'll make a nice texture. I don't know, Carrie. I think it might not do anything. That's that. That's the thing. You know what? When you're doing stuff with non-traditional materials, and I don't know. This is the cheapest shaving cream they have here. That you guys might have one, and this one actually kind of has like a smell to it, like a. I don't know. It has like a strong smell. So. You know what's kind of cool though, you guys, is I found a whole bunch of stuff that I put in my closet. Like, do you, does anybody do this besides me? Like, you're like, oh, I'm just going to put this up and I'll remember where I put it. And then you don't, and then you forget that you even have it. And then, you know, I found a bunch of stuff like that. Anybody besides me have that ever happen? Am I the only one? That hides things from their, themselves. I hide all kinds of stuff from myself. And then I forget I have it. But, then I, but in a good way, I mean, it feels like Christmas then, right? When you find your stuff. You guys may want to do have bigger teeth on your things when you're making your paper. What did you say, Mildred? I missed it. Well, we're going to scrape it off, Carrie, and it looks better after you scrape it off. It is sort of messy, though. It'd be very messy. It'd be very messy. You're hypnotized? Hi, Lily. How are you? How's your pup, Lily? So I found a bunch of stuff that I had thought that I had put away for who knows what the occasion was, but I did. So that'll be good. I'll have some new, it'll feel like I have new supplies to play with. And <clears throat> that'll be fun. Ooh. 
And Kathy says she used to hide Christmas gifts and forget about them until several years later. Oh my gosh, Kathy, you sound like me. <laughs> I'm never alone, Trish. Oh my God. If you guys could have seen Hottie's face yesterday, you would have just laughed so hard. He was like, what is this? And anyway. No, it's good, Kayla. I mean, you can use more shaving cream. I'm just trying to use up what I have. You know me, I'm a little bit thrifty. I'm a little bit thrifty. I like the thrifty. But I'm getting ready to have to scrape it all off anyway. So I'm good. And you guys, hi Mary Kay, and you guys know, you guys know you can use these as components. It's kind of fun, Kayla. So how many of you guys are going to go to the Shannon Green Rosemary Morris workshop? I want you guys to make sure when you go, take lots of pictures of your sales and post them in our group. Okay. All right, friends. Now I'm going to start scraping this stuff off because I've got a whole pile of it here. And I'm going to let these dry. Now, there does come a point when you really can't reuse your shaving cream anymore. Um, I don't know exactly when that is. Because I keep using mine until there isn't any more, but until there's no more foamy stuff. Okay, so grab the pieces that you have already done earlier. And let me find a clean card. Let me find a clean card. Okay, now you want to scrape off the... Maybe I'll lay an extra piece of paper underneath this so it doesn't all get schmoogy. You want to scrape off what you've done, but you, don't, you just want to do one fell swoop. Okay, one fell swoop. This is what dried earlier. All right, so that's one. Not perfect, though. It looks pretty cool. Let me grab some of the other ones that I did. Did you guys get the idea? Two. So where's some of the other ones that I did? Two, let's see. You don't have to let it dry as long as I did. Well, here's another one. Now you have to let them firmly dry before you... Hi, Miss Grizzle. You have to let them firmly dry before you use them in your work. So, let's try this. Hang on, you guys. I made myself a mess. But look, you can, you got all the extra bits to put on other paper, too. It's definitely messier than doing painting papers. Just an FYI. It'd be messier than making painty paper, sisters. Oh, I hope this one comes out good, you guys. Where's my diaper wipes? You're turning 25 wet? I'm, miss I'm missing what you're saying, Lily. It's kind of fun. You guys try it. I mean, you'll see it. Some of it comes out better than others, you know, and it could be also the brand of shaving cream. You guys have to, like, um, it's buffering where you are? Oh, no. Is it still buffering? You guys, it has to be YouTube because I have not done anything. I have not done anything. I haven't changed my settings. YouTube changed all this stuff, and I have to say, it's like, is it still buffering? I'm buffering. Okay, I don't know what to do, though. Let me see. Hold on. Is it still buffering? All right, let me see. Hold on. Let me go to my settings and see if it's done anything, if I've changed anything in my settings. I don't think I've changed anything. Um...
You guys, I haven't done anything. Is it still buffering? Is it is it good now? I ha you know what? It has to be something with YouTube because I haven't done anything. And when I was watching somebody else earlier, yesterday I think it was, it buffered the whole time. And I was like, ugh. Okay, I kind of like the way this one came out. You know what, Carla? I couldn't even figure out. You know what? It didn't even give me my live. You know how it normally tells you, like, you get, like, a live screen or whatever it is. Like, a, you know what I'm talking about. Like, where you can see how many people are watching you and that sort of thing. I didn't even get that the other day when I was, when I was on YouTube. So... I was just like over it. I didn't know what I'd done wrong and I didn't change any of the settings. So I have no idea. YouTube, ha I think they think they're improving things, but what they don't realize is that a lot of times they're trying to teach old dogs new tricks. And sometimes this old dog, as much as I'd like to learn a new trick, it takes me a long time to catch up to the, the learning curve. Okay, I probably should let that one dry a little longer. But you get the general idea, right? Some of them come out much better than others. You just gotta like go with it and not be all, not be all, you know, caught up in the end result. But I couldn't find my channel either, Carla. It was ridiculous. I don't know what the hell they've done. You know, it's like, it's like, oh, new and improvement. You know, and it's like, it's not improved for me. Maybe it's improved for those people that are super tech-oriented and they're, like, all excited because they know how to change their their camera settings to match with whatever's going on with whatever YouTube's done. But I don't know how to do that. So a lot of times, you guys, I'm like the end of it. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I think this one's kind of cool. Now, it still needs to dry. As you can tell, I stuck my finger right in the middle of it. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with YouTube. And, and the other thing is, is that did you notice that all of a sudden it unmonetized all your videos? It's like I got this thing, this notification. It doesn't even tell you. I'm pulling off the shaving cream, Mildred, but you have to let it sit a little bit. You can't just, um, you can't just do it and pull it right off. Because if you do it and pull it right off, what happens is it doesn't set up on the paper. And so then the pigment's not in the paper. Okay, so like, can you still see the shaving cream on here? I probably might have let these sit a little too long, but we'll see. So, you might want to try it with different brands of shaving cream. This just happened to be like what I could get, and it was like the cheapest one. I know you guys must have a dollar store brand that might even work better than this. Okay, that one I like. What do you guys think? I like that one. Yeah, Carla, check and see if your t if your if your videos are monetized. It took off like the monet. It took off monetizing like I want to say more than half my videos, and I didn't even know it. And then the other thing it did was, <laughs> you guys, it flagged one of my videos for content. It was like a painty paper or something. It was like a I don't know, making tags, chat and craft or something. It 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 flagged it for content like and I was like oh seriously so I just sent them like a notification I said if you're flagging crafting paper crafting for content then you better take off 95% of whatever's on YouTube <laughs> you know and anyway they fixed it but it was like they sent me this notification and said you know once you've reached a thousand views we will review your that, that my content was inappropriate for monetization, which I was like, seriously. Um, Susan, I wouldn't use Nair. I really wouldn't use Nair. That might take your skin off too. So, unless you're just being funny.
this was the end of the paper. Remember when I said I didn't think there was any paint left on the paper? But there, I mean, any paint left in the shaving cream? But there was a little pigment. So it's kind of cool. You know, you guys, you just got to go with it and you got to try it. It's like fun. Fun and addictive. It does work good with alcohol inks. I don't know why that one buzzed up or foamed up. I usually make them with, I've made them with paper, with alcohol inks. I've made them with acrylic paint. I haven't made them with watercolors. I have made them with food coloring. I've made them with a bunch of, you guys, whatever pigment you have. I wouldn't do it with oil paint. You know? Would not do it with oil paint. Yeah, Carla, I'm like a too, I think I'm too old to like learn new things like things like, I don't know, like stuff I wouldn't even know to look for, you know, stuff I don't even know anything about. Stuff I wouldn't even know, like, if I had, I guess if I had my college-age daughter here, she would tell me. Let's see. Hi, Vicki! Hi, Vicky S. and Vicky Pearl. So... These would be fun to use as your library pockets, you guys. I think I've cleaned all of them off. I think I've done all of them. I think I have wiped off all of the shaving cream. You guys, if you use a scented shaving cream, they're going to still have that scent to them. So if you are sensitive to smell, use an unscented one. Because even when you put them in your... Even when you put them in your journals, you'll still smell them if they have shower... If you've used a scented shaving cream. Carla says she has one last thing for settings. Someone volunteered her son to help you with settings. Hey, Carly, you know what? It's like I don't even know. Like, I don't even know what it is. I'm not. I just, I got it. I can't. I just am not good at all that stuff. I think this one might be my favorite. I don't know. I like them all. They're all a little bit different. So here's what here's what has come out of the I'm gonna move my I'm gonna move my shaving cream palette off to the side for a second and then I'll show you all the papers that we just did. And that was just with a little bit of shaving cream. So these are all the papers that we just did, and this was just with acrylic paint. Okay. So test it out, you guys. See what you like. You know, see what is See what you like and see what you think. Ooh. Lisa, that's exactly what we just did. I just let mine sit maybe a little longer than yours. You know, but not that much longer. Maybe I let it sit a couple minutes longer than yours. But that's the same thing. You just put your shaving cream on and put your paint on and drag through it, put your paper down, pull it off. I mean, it doesn't matter. You could leave it on longer or shorter. I don't have a big comb. A big comb would be better. I, maybe I'll do another set of them and we'll do bigger ones. What, babe? You taking the dog? Okay. Do you have your phone? Okay. Can you text me where you're going? I'm sorry, the little one wants to go outside to play. So we can do it. I'll do them fat and take the shaving cream off faster. But it's the same technique. It's not like a, it's not like a big, ridiculous mess deal. Let me just clean off this shaving cream. I got, I got some shaving cream mess going on. What do you guys think? Some shaving cream mess going on. Got some shaving cream mess coming on. I 
any, I don't take mine off right away, but you can. I mean, it's not like a rule of thumb if you want to leave it on there longer. Now, this might have a little pigment in it, but it may not. I mean, it looks green to us, but it may not have enough to come out on a piece of paper. To come out on a piece of paper, but we're going to go ahead and use it anyway. Might as well use it up until there is no more. So what did you guys do yesterday? Did anybody have barbecues or anything like that? I didn't have any barbecues. Well, I cleaned out all my mess. If you guys saw how much stuff I cleaned out, you'd been like, good for you. But at the same time, does anybody know how stressful it is? It's like, you're just at some point, you're just like, why do I have all this stuff? Where did it all come from? I had stuff in my garage, you guys. Like I had helped this friend of mine move and she didn't want to get rid of her stuff. She got rid of, she moved into it. She downsized into a much smaller place and she let go of a lot of it. But she said, oh, will you keep it for me? So I kept it for her, right? Well, and keeping it for her, she never came back to get it. It's been in my garage for like, I don't know, two years. So I called her up and I said, if you want it, please come and get it. She'd forgotten about it. She was like, let it all go. I was like, yay. So that was good. Um, let me see if I can just get a few rags going here. Let's see if I get a few things going on here. Anyway, so, you know, and then between that and my kids and all their stuff, does anybody else have kids that like, and I don't mind keeping stuff for them, but it's like, why they bring it back for you to, so I sent, I shot one of my kids a picture and said, you know, do you want any of this? Do you want any of this stuff? I mean, and she was like, and she had left it all supposedly saying that she was going to throw it all out. Or I don't know. I made a ticket to the thrift store, but I didn't back then because I probably didn't know that she left it all in there and then she was like oh could you pull out the red purse could you pull out the blue pants I said how about I'll give you the whole box okay we'll let it sit for like a minute and then we'll pull it off and see what it looks like and we'll do this too Well, that one's not really marbleized, but it's got color to it. We'll let that one dry too. Uh, guys. What are you guys talking about when I go live? Usually Tuesdays and Fridays. Although today, you guys, was doing me in. It wasn't nothing to do with you guys. It was me and my ridiculousness. It was me and my ridiculousness. I, I got caught in the rabbit hole of going through papers. Like, uh, not crafting papers. <laughs> I'm talking about, you know, receipts and papers. And that was ridiculous. I was like, what was I thinking? Why did I even get, go down this rabbit hole of going through papers? Because, you know, like, uh, it was ridiculous. So I went through them for like a couple of hours and then and got rid of what I could. And then the rest I just put back in, the, in a box and stuck them in the garage. And, and wrote a date on the outside of when I last went through them. It was just too much. We've decided to try and find a home for our bunny, you guys. And I'm a little bit sad, but also a little bit happy for the bunny because it's not fair to the bunny, you know? And it's like the bunny can, the bunny's free roaming in our house, but only half of the house because the dog is afraid of the bunny. And the bunny house is not totally bunny proof, so the bunny could, well, eat your chip or cords and stuff like that. 
So I finally just said uncle the other day. I just said, you know, I know we all love this bunny, but I'm the one that ends up taking care of it. And we have the dog and the cat and the bunny. And I said, the bunny needs to be able to, you know, you have to like really spend time with it. And the bunny gets very upset when you don't. And anyway, so I've been looking for a good home for our bunny. And they have all these animal sanctuaries here. But I don't know if our bunny is male or female. And I'll only take a female a female bunny and so I have to go have our bunny to go have somebody tell me if we have a male or a female bunny I haven't done that if we have a female bunny then she can go live in the sanctuary and you have to give them money every month and you can go and visit the bunny but the bunny will live with other bunnies in a big huge outdoor thing What did you learn, Claire? Hi, Sarita. I'm missing. You're terrible, Susan. You are so terrible. That's not nice. Now save your save these painty diaper wipes. You know you can use them for your in your journaling stuff. I did find a whole package of envelopes that I had saved, or because I found a bunch of junk mail somebody had given me in my stash stuff and so I have all these envelopes. So I'm thinking about making uh, just some junk mail envelope journal. I was going to do that today, but I guess I couldn't get it together. It was all I could do to just be present with you guys. All right, let me see if I can, I'm going to see if I can pull the paint off of, let me pull the paint off the one that's been sitting here. I haven't been sitting here that long. Let's see. It's not bad. Okay, Grace is telling me, hey Grace, how are you, first of all? You burned all your paperwork, Trish? Oh my gosh, that sounds exciting. Grace says, Shelly, tell, I tell my pack rat that every time she gets rid of 20 things, I have, I'll take her for ice cream. Or something of value, that's awesome. But it's me, okay, it's just me. I am the pack rat, okay? I am the pack rat. Hi, Carla. Carla F. You grilled steaks and you napped. I didn't. Um, what are you saying, Amberly? Your two year old. Oh no, her two year old killed her goldfish. I'm sorry. You know, I don't have good luck with fish like that. You know, I can't even tell you how many fish we've like gone through with our kids being young. It was like, it was like, it was not good, you know, so we, we gave up. I love this bunny, but can I tell you this bunny is just as demanding as like a dog or a cat. And it has a litter box, and you have to change it all the time. And she, he, it, I don't know if it's a he or she yet, or whatever, it, it, it's very sweet. But it's just like, you guys, I've had enough. I've really just had enough. I like the way this one came out. I mean, it's not exactly marble, but I like the texture. Scotty, you need to go to sleep. Go sleep and enjoy your sleep. Are you kidding? I'm all for sleeping. The toddler wears you out, girl. Are you kidding? Yesterday, I had all the kids were over, like, in our at our house in the garage. They wanted to, like, paint and do stuff. So I set up some stuff. I was cleaning out the garage with Hotty. We were, like, going through. I like this one. We were cleaning out and going through stuff in the garage and I have big huge table like art tables out there and the kids were like what are you doing and then the next thing you know they were like we want to paint so I had all these big papers out and they were painting and by the time they left I was so tired and I and I was still reorganizing so I was that one's not terrible I hope you get some good rest, Scotty, because I know myself, I need some rest, okay? And I'm not, I don't, I don't function well with no rest. 
So I say you guys do your painting papers and figure out what works for you. You know, test it. Scrape it off sooner, scrape it off later. I mean, it's all a little bit of a crapshoot. I don't know if there's any perfect solution. I may just move my green. May, I may do another, a different color for my next round. But it's fun. It's fun and it's, it's fun. So I was going to show you guys something I got in the mail, but I can't even, oh, I know. So, you know, guys, know I'm not buying myself anything. I don't need anything. I'm not buying myself anything, right? Well, you're a pack rat so you get ice cream, too. Bye, Fee. Night, Fiona. I'm sorry if I missed what you were chatting about. I'm sorry. I was a little bit obsessed with this painting paper, this uh, shaving cream extravaganza. So, I said I wasn't going to buy myself anything. Well, I have a friend who... I introduced to that company Peachy Cheap. Do you guys know that company? They sell like scrapbooking seconds or overstocks and they're good. They have really good stuff. They have one deal a day and it's usually anywhere between six and nine dollars. I don't know if they ship overseas. You guys, I don't know what their shipping policy is. And honestly, I haven't ordered anything from them in probably a year. But they have this thing called a Peachy Cheap grab bag and they have different versions of a grab bag. And they're like, some of them are like $10, some of them are $15, some of them are $20. They've had them as expensive as $50, but I've never bought a $50 one, so I can't tell you what's in it. So I got this package today, and I'm like, what is this? I did not order anything. It was a grab bag, a peachy cheap grab bag, and I'll show it to you. One of my friends, she goes, you know, I was thinking about you. She goes, well, I know you said you're not buying yourself anything. She goes, but... We, I, we get such cool things when we get these little grab bags. So she sent me a peachy cheap grab, grab bag, you guys, and so I'll show it to you. Let's see what this is. So I'll show it to you. I don't. I ha, I, I opened it just right before I entered the right before I came on. So I'll show it to you, and you guys can have a look. What happened, Mary Kay? What are we holy cowing for? What happened? I like peachy cheap too, Don, but I didn't, I, I'm not buying myself anything. And I don't, she, she was like, cause she called me to tell me she'd gotten some like a fuse tool. I guess they had a fuse tool on there on peachy cheap. I don't know. Cause I don't, I don't get their emails anymore at, because I don't want to be tempted. Okay. That's why I don't get their emails. Not because I don't like their stuff. You like the smell of shaving cream on paper? <laughs> this one smells a little bit unique. I, I won't deny you that. Um, this one smells a little bit unique. So, I'm using my, my pot, what is it, my pot cleaning tool? One of you guys told me that it was a pot cleaning tool, so that's what I'm using. Maybe I need something bigger to drag through it. Let's see. Um, I love their stuff, Dawn. I just don't, you know what? Because I've said to myself I don't need anything. Okay, that one's too big to drag through it. I need a smaller one, but I don't have anything. It's okay, I'll just use this. Um... I've taken myself off the email list of everything, you guys, because I really don't need anything. I made myself a total pact that I'm going to use what I have. 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 I'm going to totally just use what I have and... I'm going to just use what I have because I have a lot. Maybe it's not the traditional kind of materials that most people have, but I have enough for me. 
Okay, I'm kind of liking the way the marbling thing's looking down here. Let me see if I can I'm gonna put a piece of that photo paper. I really don't need anything. I mean, honestly, maybe some glue. Maybe some glue. I'm gonna like, I think I'm gonna like the way that one comes out. I hope so. I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna do another one on one of these things. And there isn't, I mean, there's so many new things that came, that have come out that Sure, I would love to try them, but I don't need to. Like, I haven't bought... You're not buying anything for the next six months? Good for you. I would love some of those Tim Holtz Oxide inks, but I don't need them, okay? And it's not like I can't afford them or anything like that. That's not even it. It's just, at some point, I have to decide that I have enough, right? Do any of you feel that way? At some point, you go, I have enough stuff, and I'm just going to enjoy what I have. So over the next, my next few months, I'm just going to do, focus on using what I have and using, using what I have and using it up. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me just turn my phone off. Um, hey, one second. Hey, is everything okay? Yeah, can I call you back in a few minutes? Well, I just want to make sure everything was okay. Sometimes stuff happens to my family. It was one of my kids. Stuff happens. Stuff happens. All right. I'm going to scrape these off and see how these come out. I'm going to scrape these off and see how they come out. I'm going to let them sit for like a minute. I've made a mess, you guys. This is a real mess. So for me, I'm just going to try and use like what I have. Okay, I have enough stuff to last for a good while. I'm going to go through and I'm going to use what I have. And I'm going to get more creative with the stuff I have and not even think about. Um, I'm not even going to think about other stuff. It's not you on the phone. No, it was one of my daughters. Yes, Lisa, I love jelly plates. I'm obsessed with them. Yes, when you get yours, yes. Let me know. Text me. You know I'm always up for jelly plant, jelly printing. I also like to do stuff, you guys, like so that I have, like I made all those library pockets. And now I have a few, quite a few. And thanks, you guys, for supporting me in my Etsy shop. Some of you, a lot, I've sold a bunch of those kits. Actually, not through Etsy, which is remarkable, but because I put that little kit video up, I've gotten quite a few, you know, people just message me and say I want one, and, you know, I've sold it You just using a PayPal invoice. Um, but thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And... It's been kind of fun for me because what I've done is I've gone through some of my favorite junk journal stuff and I found some really cool stuff that I love and included it in there. And they're much bigger than that little video shows. I made one yesterday for one of you guys and it has like, I don't know, maybe it has, I know I said 30 papers, but it has like probably 50 or 60 papers in it of all different kinds, especially ones that I've painted and stuff. I had some really cool ones. So I appreciate it. Thank you for your support. So it might have done better if I'd let it sit longer because it was on photo paper, but I still like it. <laughs> Scotty's got a cold feet on you. Oh, you guys are so funny. You guys are hilarious. Hilarious, hilarious. Oh, you guys, I'm making a mess here. This one might need to, let me see if I can scrape it with that. But yeah, that one makes it, scraping it this direction works better.
You know, I am going to do, um, I don't know if I'll do it this week. I mean, I know we'll still do our, our little ornaments. I just haven't gone to get any printer ink. I have to drive to the other side. I like the way that one came out. I have to drive to the other side of the island to get that. So um, we'll do that. But I was also going to show you guys how to do make a journal with the... Uh, um, do any of you guys buy books that are that the spines aren't good so you really can't use them so you just have like the front and back cover and the front and back cover of your of the book without the spine I was going to show you how to make a really cool journal with that so I've had that happen a couple times especially if they're old books and the spine cracks. I like this one. What do you guys think? That one's kind of a good paper too. You lost power, Carla? Oh no, because of the uh, because of the hurricane. You guys are so funny about the snoring. Hi, Ann. You're in Melbourne. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you here. Yeah, my cousin lost her whole house, everything in her house. I love this. Don't you like this one? She lost everything, and um, they already gutted it. She told me it, it's going to be. You guys, it's so sad. Susan posted a video, um, and it just shows you the town that I grew up in. It was completely underwater, like five feet underwater, and my family still lives there, and my cousin was telling me that they've already gutted her house. I mean, she already gutted her house because they're afraid of mold. So five feet of water. Yeah, she lost everything. She lost all of her cars. She lost everything. All right, my lovelies. Hang on a second. I'll be right back. I'm going to, I just need to go wash my hands. They're super sticky. And... This wipes are not cutting it, but you guys can see some of the painting papers that I made. Some of the some of the painting papers. Some of the painting papers. Just give me one little second. I'll be right, right, right back. Talk amongst yourselves, and then after this, we could make um, I don't know. Maybe you guys make some suggestions. Think about it. I just need to go take my just. Give me one little second and wash these hands. Okay, I washed my hands. They were like sticky beyond sticky. Okay, so what do you girls want to make now? I'm liking the way they came out. I mean, I could do them a little bit more. It depends upon the tools that you have to how marble, how marbly affected they are, but I'm liking them. You can see that it does it different. Like this is that photo paper, but then let's see the ones that are this is, I'll have to find some of the ones that I've done in the past where I've really liked them, so I don't remember the pigments that I used, but I think it had to be the same acrylic paint. So some of them came out better than others. 
you know, so it's sort of a crapshoot. Oh no, I'm the hurricane's coming where you are, Carla. Oh no. So <laughs> Bet was like really freaking out over the storm, which I would be too, you guys. I'm from that area and you know, we get hurricanes a lot there when I live there. So she was really freaking out and I just told her, I said, you know, love your fear because when you love your fear, you only attract love and the fear dissipates. So we were all saying, I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you, Harvey. So I say, I love you, Irma. And so Susan and Beth had no water damage and they only lost power briefly, whereas some people had huge devastations. So... Love your fear. You tried orange, black, and gold and it didn't work. So just love it. Love Irma. We love you, Irma. We love you, Irma. We love you, Irma. Hey, Tammy. Uh... So I like the way they came out. Some of them are better than others. I wish I had found a whole package of ones I'd done months ago, but I don't know. It's not anywhere near me. And that's what gave me the idea to do it, because I had made a bunch, and I included them in some junk journaling kits and junk journaling things I made, and they came out great. So these are not as good as the other ones, but I don't know what I did wrong. Maybe using the different tools. I mean, you definitely need something bigger to do your marbling with. Yeah, you guys got crazy. It's in your path too, Dawn, the hurricane. Definitely get some water, Carla, and some batteries. Get some water and some batteries. Okay, let me see. It's going to show you. Oh, I know. I'll get my package and I'll show you guys my package. So these are okay. I mean, I'm not totally in love with them, but, you know, it's okay. This one's not bad. I like this one. This one's pretty good. You guys, have, be safe. You know, there's nothing worth staying over. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Nothing worth, nothing worth staying over. Now, Susan can tell you guys some horror stories over. Hi, Jen. Some horror stories over people that stayed in the, in the storm where she was. I'm not saying it's for everybody, and I'm not saying it to make you fearful. I'm just saying that, you know... You have to be safe. You have to totally be safe. Here, let me see if I can, let me show you my package that I got from my friend. Okay, this was the $15 Peachy Cheap grab bag. Now, what you have to understand about their, peach, about their grab bags are... They, um, you can't, you don't choose. So, this is what, and this one was like $15, she told me. And this is what I got in the $15 grab bag. Now, I don't, they have different kinds of grab bag. I know one time they had a stamp grab bag. One time they had a washi tape bag grab bag. One time, one time they had other things. So, this is all the stuff in the $15 grab bag. So, and it came from peachycheap.com. So look at this, seven thick, this paper, I love it. It's Studio Calico. It's six by six. And look, I know, right? For $15. So I don't know what the shipping was. I'm guessing it was five. So this was $20 worth of stuff total, I think. I don't know. Since it was a gift from her, I don't know. So this was, look at this paper though. I love Studio Calico paper and I love, look, 
Now you don't know what you're going to get in a grab bag, but I love this. This is great. You can always use 6x6 six six paper. And she got it for me because I turned her on to it. I was like, oh no. <laughs> but I like the paper. I'm like super stoked. I'll make, I don't know what I'll use it for or make with it, but I like it. So this came in that. And these letters, which I think are cool. They're laser cut like mirror letters. It's peachy, like peach. P-E-A-C-H, peachy cheap, P-E-A-C-H, C-H-E-A-P dot com. And they have one thing a day that they sell. So if you sign up for their mailing list, they'll send you what they're selling one a day. They don't have a storage, and when it's sold out, it's sold out. So if you like it, get it. And these are some like little embellishments, which are cute. And then some stickers. These are super cute. And then some little tags. I guess I got alcohol ink on my fingernails. <laughs> and then some more little stickers. And look at look underneath it has some rub-ons too. Kind of cool. And then this is a planner. It's, this one's called a memory planner. And what does it say? Love this. That's what this stamp says. Love this. And then I got some ribbon and some twine. I'm going to stick it back in the, the box. i got to send her a thank you note. And then here are some like cool little frames that you put around pictures in your scrapbook. I can, I, I'll put them in my junk journals. And then here's some little camera chipboard shapes. They're kind of cute. And I love enamel dots. You can't have too many enamel dots. I like those. Yeah, I love these sort of things. For whatever reason, I'm obsessed with these sort of brads. I love them. The package of these alone is like five or six bucks, maybe even more if you buy them at a scrapbook store. And these came in it. And then three rolls of washi. Look at this one. This one's super cute. It's like got owls and foxes in green. I like that. And this one is squirrels and acorns. And then this one's flowers. And then these are all stamps. I don't know the brand. These are all like, you know, um, rubber stamps. And they're kind of cute. Right? Cling stamps, you know, rubber stamps. They're small, so it looks like they were probably meant for like a planner. And then I got Let's Party One Pocket and Eight and Eight Snap Pages. So I've never ever oh this is for a specific kind of planner. But this would be cool in a junk journal. And then I got these, which are fusibles, cards and envelopes to use your fuse tool with. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I guess we could open it up and see. This is all from Peachy Cheap, you guys. I didn't order it. I wouldn't, first of all, I probably wouldn't buy myself most of this stuff because I wouldn't, I'm not really a scrapbooker, but I'll totally use it in my junk journals. Oh, look. So this is all kinds of cool stuff to make with a fuse tool. I don't have a fuse tool, but I have a wood burning tool, which you can use the same way. Look, these are envelopes and little cards. Oh, this is cool. Look, there are like all kinds of papers and different stuff. And it tells you how to use them, how to use them in your with your fuse tool. 
So this is cool, and there's some little sleeves to fuse if you wanted to make like a shaker card and some sequins. That's very cool. Because I wouldn't have known to even get it because it's not something that is in my... I don't know anything... I'm not a scrapbooking person. I mean, I love like bits and pieces and stuff, but I don't... Because I don't have the space for those bits. You know, I, I love watching people do scrapbooking layouts and stuff like that. But the truth about me is I'm so random and my style is not anything... Like I would have to be... I'm just sort of eclectic anyway, so... And I wouldn't even have the space. Can you imagine all of the space that it would take to, and then, and then these little wood veneers. These I love. I've used these many times in mixed media work. These little veneers. So these all came. These are cool, right? Little wood veneers. So that's everything that came in the grab bag. So you don't know what you'll get in a grab bag. They don't tell you. They just say, you know, they say they guarantee, like, if it's a $15 grab bag, they say you'll receive at least $60 worth of supplies. Well, you guys saw what I got, and it was a lot for $15. You have a few useful Mary Kay? Awesome. How do I make paper eyeballs? Are you talking about my eyeball embellishments that I make, Carla? Is that what you're talking about? Or are you asking somebody else how they make their paper eyeballs? So that is what I got in my peachy cheap. That was a huge, it came in this thing. I was so surprised. I was like, what is this? I was like, I did not order anything. Guys, I'm not buying myself anything, so. This was like a nice little, a nice little treat that I didn't buy myself. Night, Trish. Yeah, peachy cheap. I, I, I'm not an affiliate, you guys, so I don't get anything from it. So I don't think I'm, I'm not, I'm not, and I'm not trying to enable any of you. I'm really not. I'm not trying to enable you. Oh, my lovelies. I am I'm beat today. Because I am like, and I still have probably, I don't know. Oh, two of the viewers are trying to talk you into sending them your journals for safekeeping. Uh, nah. Nah. You know what? You couldn't even make it to the post office in time anyway, right? The storm's coming. I know, right, Grace? It was a nice haul. It was my friend, my friend's, my friend's gift to me. You're so funny, Carla. If you guys haven't checked out Carla's channel, go and watch her. She's Caged Fish here on YouTube. And, and she also has some stuff on Ustream. Those are so funny. You guys are so funny. Oh, rest, Vicky. Forget it. I gotta finish. I gotta finish doing my calamari. I'm calamariing to the max. I'm go I'm calamariing to the max. Good night, Frida. Okay, my lovelies. Let's have a moment of aloha, and then I'm gonna let you guys go because I am gonna go off and finish my calamari, and I have to. I have to set up my the bunny room for my friend. Okay, close your eyes and put your feet on the floor and see yourself in your large column of light. 
and make sure your column is deep into the earth and is spread out and made big, huge, beautiful tree roots. Feel the beautiful earth energy, and I envision this energy as gold. But you can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rising up through your feet, ankles, calves, knees, thighs, hips. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy filling the base of your spine, your lower abdomen, abdomen, your, your stomach, your chest, and your heart. Feel it running down your shoulders and your arms and out your fingers. Feel it rising up your spine, filling your throat, your head, and fountaining out the top of your head. Ready? Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. And feel this beautiful gold earth energy filling your whole column of light. Now I want you to focus up on as far up above your head as you can easily effortlessly imagine. I imagine this is heavenly, cosmic, angelic energy, and I see it like diamonds. But you can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that works for you. Feel this beautiful, cosmic, heavenly, angelic energy pouring in your head and spreading, filling your face and your throat and down your shoulders your arms and out your fingers. Feel it mixing with your beautiful gold earth energy. Feel it in your throat. Feel it running down your spine. Feel it filling your chest. Feel it filling your stomach. Feel it filling your lower abdomen. Feel it filling the base of your spine. And feel it running out of your legs and deep, deep, deep into the earth. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. Now, I want you to give yourself permission to ask for what you need. So on the inhale, you're going to breathe in any energy support that you need right now in your life, whatever that looks like for you. And on the exhale, I want you to let go of anything that's not working for you. It could be fear. It could be anxiousness. It could be nervousness. It could be restlessness. It could be insomnia. It could be anything. So breathe in what you need to support your life. Breathe it in. And let go of whatever isn't working. And breathe it in. And let it go. And breathe it in. And let it go. And breathe it in and let it go. Focus on your heart. Breathe in anything that you need. And open the window in your heart and let out anything that's not working for you. And breathe in what you need. And open the window in your heart and let out anything that's not working for you. And one more time, breathe it in and let it go. Now let's send all of our energy to those that really need us right now. Those that are worried about a storm in Florida, those that are still recovering from the one in Texas, and anyone that may need some support right now. So I want you to receive all of the love of the divine to yourself. Receive it in your heart and on the exhale I want you to send out that love and support to any and all people that you think, feel, see, or know need it. Ready? Breathe in the love for yourself. Receive it and send it out. And breathe it in and send it out. And breathe it in and send it out. All right, my lovelies. 
I'm sending you so much love and I hope everything works out for you in Florida and everyone is safe and you know no one gets flooded out and everyone is just safe and for all of you out in Texas I'm sending you so much love and wishing you a quick recovery from this storm and that whatever you've let go of is stuff that you didn't need and you know just know that I'm you're always in my thoughts and prayers and you know I appreciate every single thing that you guys do I appreciate your love and support please stay safe let us know how you are if you guys haven't joined our Facebook group join it it's called crafting mamas on Facebook group on Facebook and anyone can join you don't have to be a paper crafter thanks for hanging out with me And, you know, know that I'm always here for you guys, and I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Always, always, always. Happy crafting and creating, and um, maybe I'll sit here and do a few more pages and show you next time. All right, love you guys. Try that. Try the, uh, sh the shaving cream marbling. You'll have fun doing it. All right, love you guys. Not everyone. Carla, hang in there, okay? Hang in there. I know everything's going to be okay. Love you, bet. Yes, lots of love to anyone in Irma's path right now. Yeah. You guys are so funny. I love you. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you guys on Friday. All right. Yeah, head on over and join uh, Carla's Caged Fish, and she also has a Facebook group called Arts Exper Art Experiments. And uh, please, if you guys want to join over, um... If you want to join, head over to Facebook. Cage Fish's group, Carlos' group, is called Art Experiments, and it's really fun. My group is called Crafting Mamas, so come and join us. Okay, big hugs, you guys. Big, big hugs. Aloha.